Hello, today we are discussing about construction, working and application of solid oxide fuel cell. What is solid oxide fuel cell? An electrochemical device that convert the chemical energy into electrical energy via oxidation of fuel. The fuel cell are characterized by their electrolyte material. The solid oxide fuel cell has a solid oxide or a ceramic electrolyte. Construction and working a solid oxide fuel cell is made up of four layer, three of which are ceramics, hence the name. A single cell consists of these four layers stacked together is typically only a few millimeters thick. Hundreds of these cells are then connected in a series to form what most people refer to as an SOFC stack that is solid oxide fuel cell stack. The ceramics used in a SOFC do not become electrically and ionically active until they reach very high temperature ranging from 500 to 1000 degrees Celsius. The reduction of oxygen into oxygen ion occurs at the cathode. This ion can then diffuse through solid oxide electrolyte to anode where they can electrochemically oxidize the fuel. In this reaction, a water byproduct is given off as well as two electrons. These electrons then flow through an external circuit where they can do work. The cycle repeats as those electrons enter the cathode material again. Anode Ceramic anode layer must be very porous to allow the fuel to flow towards the electrolyte. The most common material used in a cement made up of nickel mixed with a ceramic material that is used for electrolyte in a particular cell. Typically YSZ that is yttria stabilized zirconia nanomaterial based catalyst. The anode is commonly thickest and strongest layer in each individual cell because it has the smallest polarization losses and it is often the layer that provides the mechanical support. At anode, H2 plus O2 gives H2O plus 2 electron. Electrolyte The electrolyte is a dense layer of a ceramic that conducts oxygen ion. Its electronic conductivity must be kept as a low as possible to prevent the losses from leakage current. Popular electrolyte material include first one yttria stabilized zirconia that is YSZ, second one scandia stabilized zirconia that is SCSZ, Cathode. The cathode or a air electrode is a thin porous layer on the electrolyte where the oxygen reduction takes place. So the overall reaction is half O2 plus 2 electron gives O2. Interconnect. The interconnect can be either a metallic or a ceramic layer that sits between each individual cell. Here we can see the working of solid oxide fuel cell. Next move on to the applications of solid oxide fuel cell. First one, it is used in a power and heat generation for homes and business as well as auxiliary power unit for electrical system in a vehicle. Second one, it can be linked with a gas turbine in which the hot high pressure exhaust of the fuel cell can be used to spin the turbine generating a second source of electricity. Third one is they are fuel flexible which make them a preferred technology for the installation with existing infrastructure such as gas pipelines. This is regarding construction working and application of solid oxide fuel cell. I think you all are clear with this topic. Thank you. Wow, that's impressive. You have completed a magic today. For more videos, subscribe. Join our Facebook group and Instagram page for group discussion and live magazine videos for exam preparation in an hour. We start a class like community for students to learn from a friend in a simple way and support them in their own languages. If you are willing to be that one friend who saves us at the exam night preparation, then please join us by visiting classfly.n.